Good afternoon, YouTube. So, went to go all racing again, and we end up needing a new water pump. I had the car loaded on the trailer, it was all strapped down doing the last strap, and just like that, saw a puddle under the car. Leaking from right behind the water pump, just like on a small block Chevy when that seal goes out. So, we're going to go ahead and do a little time lapse uh, water pump swap. So big thing on here is once you have access to the water pump, you know, take the belt off of it, and then there are three bolts on each side of the pulley, 10 millimeter, and go ahead and loosen them up. Again, both hoses are off, belts off, and I've got everything else out of the way. Now that I've got the pump off, I'm going to take the heater bypass off, the thermostat housing, and the tensioner and swap all of them over to the new water pump. I'm not terribly surprised this died. This was an original 98 LS1 water pump. So after 20 something years, not really surprised. It doesn't owe me anything. Even if it's not original, I haven't changed it in the seven years that I've had this car. So, tensioner, thermostat housing, and bypass loop all transferred over from old pump onto the new pump. I'm sure I'm going to get some hate. Oh, uh, you could uh, you could just cap those off or pound in a pipe plug. or Look, the fucking hose was bought two years ago. It works, and it's paid for. Why fuck with it? straight water like I am you got to put something like this into the cooling system it acts with the same uh, anti-corrosion and lubricating properties that antifreeze does but doesn't have the glycol in it that the NHRA safety says that you can't have when you're running on the street plus I live in Georgia so hey Miss October so it's not like I need the antifreeze to keep it from splitting the block or anything crazy like that. But straight water, you need an additive. If you're not gonna run straight water, then just antifreeze 50-50 will work for you.
looks like that we're done. Go ahead and get those same six bolts put back in. Attach the water pump to the block. Fill it, put both hoses back on. Upper radiator hose, lower radiator hose. Fill it with your coolant. Tighten everything back up. Throw that belt back on. And you should be good to go. All right, if you like the time lapse stuff, let me know. If not, fuck off. All right, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, comment. Subscribe to my Patreon. Subscribe to my Snapchat Premium and my OnlyFans. You can get all the pictures of my feet you freaking creeps want to see. And with that, that's all there is to it. It's just that easy.